Hey everyone, it's Ismay and welcome to The Medium. This game came out just a couple days ago and I'm only getting to it now because unfortunately where I'm staying right now my internet isn't quite the best so it took me forever to download it but I'm really excited to be jumping in now and I'm ready to explore so let's get going. It all starts with a dead girl. Go figure it couldn't be some happy story to start out with, huh? Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. The girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Huh, well, that wasn't the only part. <laughs> No wonder people used to think I was strange. <laughs> if they only knew. So tell us, I'm intrigued. Teach me all of that the day weird ins and outs. Phone rang. It was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie, simple, just the things he did every day, but looking through his stuff wasn't easy, I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. All right, well, I guess we'll do that. I'm like, anyone who has a problem with her taking a minute, like, wherever she's going, can just get over it. <laughs> Losing people is hard. If you need minutes or days, months, you take them, you know? There we go. All right. Oh, we have an ultrasound. I obviously I'll just um pick up Marianne from the train. Oh, okay. So we're not pregnant. Whoever owns this book is. Interesting. I wonder where we are. Wait. Oh, I wanted to read the butterfly book. Okay, never mind then. Oh, hi, Kitty Cat. I'm gonna follow yeah. you. Yeah. Nice to see you too. These camera angles. Oh, is this like my room? 
Or like my Weird old room? to be back in my old room. Yeah, nice. So many memories. We were obsessed with butterflies. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. To play. To take oh. care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Okay. So, we're adopted, presumably? I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Uh, do Badges Mr. of honor Open. for doing the right thing. You must request Jack you to... <laughs> wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. Okay. So, basically what I got is she gave... Marianne My is giving special family heirloom to console people As a kid, and it wasn't okay. I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? A second degree thermal burns. Patient, geez. Alright. I don't think there's anything else in there. Where did that kitty cat go? There you Jack's are. Room. It's like he never... Damn it. Yo, if you, if you need a minute, you take it, girl. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Oh, wait. There was something on the bottom there. Let me... Yeah. Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. What? Uh, okay. Active insight, huh? Interesting. All right, we have Keep spidey senses. At me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Well, not us if he keeps hissing, huh? I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Okay, so what I'm kind of assuming is that Jack is Jack like the was adopted a humble, dad. Religious man. He but ran she a hasn't funeral talked home about and like a mom figure. It felt good to be useful. All right. Okay, that's just a window. Like, I know it might not be super important to explore right now, but... Oh, okay. Let's find some kitty cat food. But I want to do a little bit of exploring, you know? Have a feel of it. Just in case we never get to come back here. Oh. So Bill Clinton was a president. We're doing post-Cold War stuff. Okay. So definitely Looks in the past. Nourishing. Give me the kitty cat food. Maybe they'll. Here you go. What's your face? I was gonna say I don't think we know the Let's name. See, you're <laughs> still kicking around. There we go. Look at. Oh, wait, hang on. Sidetracked by the dark it's room. Still here. What is going on in? Oh, Jack. Can I? Ooh, okay, so I will have to... Okay, so I might have to come back here after all. Huh. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Or we'll do it right now. Okay, so what are we doing? Illuminate. Dip, dip, dip. Okay. I assume this is just going to be an order, right? So, what is this? That's one, two, uh. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that that was five. And then, do I go, oh wait, they're behind, okay, multi -grid. yeah, 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 so. This one. I'm just kind of guessing that it's done enough time. Uh, that one over there. 
I think it says fixer on the bottle. I can't quite read it, so I'm just gonna assume that this is stop. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, okay, it's definitely working. It looks like it might be Jack. One, two, three. That was the last photo I took of you, Jack. Uh, Shit. Hey, no, 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 no. It's, it's good to have it. Now we have a nice little, I mean, obviously she kind of plans on taking care of the cat, so I'm sure we'll come back at some point. But now we have like a nice little memento. Wait, just in case that's like the, the front door. What do we got going on in here? Interesting. Ooh, great book. If you haven't read it, go read it. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a like full on discussion about it later. <gasps> we can have a book club. <laughs> I really want to get my Discord uh, back up and kicking. That way we can do things like that. We lived upstairs like from that. Jack's funeral home. Do. It wasn't as Book weird as it things. sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my can't, powers. Can't use that door. Can't use that door. Onwards then. Right now, the game really feels like it falls somewhere in between, like, Song of Horror and Life is Strange. Between, um, like, the camera views, look and the feel, and obviously I know this is, like, psychological horror, so it's not gonna be as nice as, like, nice isn't the right Jack, word, but the peaceful. Jack, to accept my condition. As a Life is Strange. all my foster parents. He was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. I don't know if I have a car, <laughs> so I'm just going to keep walking. Uh... Did that actually? Oh, it, it did. We, we were right here. That's kind of weird. Jack's in the prep room. Pete. Oh, I'm the the mortician. Huh, weird. I don't remember locking it. The key should be in the office. Oh, but yeah, like the way that she's walking around and talking a lot and giving us backstory and insight, that really feels like life is strange. Adam Nowak. Married, dressing the body of flower. Mr. Nowak brought funeral payment confirmation today. It's in the cabinet. Okay. Here it is. Thank you for the key. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, it's definitely not looking like there was a mother in the picture per se. Just based on like, we haven't really found pictures of her. She's not mentioning anything. I just kind of... So maybe a sisterly figure? I'm wondering who's pregnant now. <laughs> Not to be nosy, but it was written in the notebook. Oh, I just realized. It might not be a pregnancy ultrasound. Uh, don't mind me. It's like five in the morning and I'm half asleep. And I sometimes forget that there's, you know, other medical needs. It wasn't a mistress. Jeez. <laughs> Oof. All right. Like I get that it's a funeral home and a morgue, but why does it gotta be all creepy like this? Oh, that was weird. Can I put on a fancier leather jacket? No. Okay. Just want to look around first, cause I feel like in a horror game, normally when you like touch a dead body, that's when things get real. I just wanted to make sure we looked around a little bit first. Oh, hey, Jack. I was gonna say that. Feeling my words. Uh, can I let go? Do I look in dry? I don't. I 
got your special clip. Oh, okay. No. Where's your tie? There it is. Let me just scooch around you, sir. Snazzy. I was waiting. I was like, do way? not turn around and be gone, Jack. We're not here to be doing that today, right? <laughs> I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. I guess you're ready. But am I? I just really hope she has like a really good friend or something to lean on. Like all I want to do right now oh, is like can't you people read? Reach in and just give her a hug. The signs it's closed. <gasps> uh, might not be the kind of people who care. Yeah, this is fine. I didn't need the lights anyway. Oh, yeah, that's safe. <laughs> I like how she doesn't even comment on it. She's like, oh, yeah, this is normal. Okay, where's the front door that people would have been? Oh, yep, that one. Yep. Hey, stop breaking my stuff. What's gonna get me killed? Like, probably, right? Oh, hey. Can I click the lights? No. Guess you felt it too. And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. I feel bad. She's not she's not like super phased anymore. She's just like oh. this shit again. Oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late. I need to find that. Marianne? What happened oh. to your head? Marianne, are you are you crying, my child? You your face I... was like Jack. He was perfectly you didn't intact to see downstairs. My notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Where is that? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I, I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, I know, Jack. I, I can't just. It's not important. Are we gonna have to help him you move on? What's wrong, dear? I don't know. Oh, why is it so cold in here? <laughs> where is that shh, 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 shh. Hmm? It's okay, hey, Jack. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? Oh, <laughs> Jack. It's time to get some rest. Oh, Marianne. Yeah? No. I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? <laughs> yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Oh, you know, I promised myself once. I would never let anything happen to you. Not 
while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, no risky stuff then. All right? Man, that would be so hard to have to All go right, through. Jack. But at least in a way she gets to say goodbye, you know? That is something a lot of people wish for. Maybe be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. No. Remember that. It went from so casual to like sad and then scary and then super sad. <laughs> Why? Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. No. I was the only one. Oh. Or so I thought. Oh, wait, are we about to meet, like... We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look. If this is a joke, uh... You'd need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is a girl? Thomas. A human? Like... I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh... there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. Is this gonna be like our, like our birth you father? I trust, trust you. I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. Oh wait. Resort. Find me there. Please. Is he having like the, the same dream? It's almost gone. Yeah, it's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Oh, shit. Off I went, on nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. Not to mention the exact like sentence he said, you know? <laughs> Either way, he sure seemed to know me. Yeah, this place isn't super sketchy at all. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. I mean, no, it's not even just feel. Like, you can see it. This looks like it's a freaking location straight out of The Last of Us. And the world isn't, like, the world isn't over. <laughs> 
It's gorgeous, though. Like, for the state of decay that it's in. Anyone home? Uh, I guess not. A giant spider lives the... over there. Hello? Thomas? That's a zombie. <laughs> Who knew? I guess we are playing The Last of Us, guys. Okay. Uh, Niwa says hello. Uh, you would love it here, my dear. Amazing day room for kids and free art lessons. Lots of families and the hotel is huge. I've never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me. Miss you. F. Alright, cool. Thanks. Guess we, we got a bad thing. Looks like a bed. That's a little odd, but alright. Doesn't seem to be a big button. I thought, like, we'd be doing a little bit more. The front gate was locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. I don't suppose you brought a gun, huh? We could just shoot the lock off and call it a day. That's why everyone needs a conceal and carry. That way when you get to a really suspicious place that a stranger called you to and you decided to go to, you can just break in properly. You want to keep me out, Neva? See, otherwise you have to do this, and then like, how are you supposed to get back over? Now you're They're just gonna have stuck. to do better than that. Not a whole lot of people knew about Can I Neva. run? It used to oh, be yep. a government-owned vacation resort. Honey, until I one couldn't day, until that popped up. Stopped. And so an urban legend was born: the Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, car? ancient curses. You know, the usual. Alright, where did this zombie man go? Ah yes, deeper into the woods. That's where I'd like to go by myself. Kind of looks like a branching path. This one seems less traveled, so let's go this way first. Huh. What's this old thing here? Um, a grave and or memorial, I would assume. Oh, what a mess. People can be such bastards sometimes. No wonder history keeps biting us in the end. Why is that Chloe? Uh, for the daughters and sons of the land, here they rest, buried as they fell, to remind us that the whole earth is their grave. Mm. Very littered. Nothing else? But... Okay. I wonder just how many people are actually under that rock, though, since... Or if it's more like not literal. So I got distracted by the ball. <laughs> uh, hello? Did you climb over the dumpster too, child? I need you to go home. Can I pick that ball up? Huh. Oh, footprints. So, if it's in this mode, though, no. Okay, I was gonna say, doesn't mean they're ghost footprints, but that wouldn't make sense because the tie clip that we found obviously was physical. Yeah, like a stalker just watching her run through the woods like What's this. What's this? 1968. T and K. So maybe Thomas and someone? I don't know why, I just, I really did think I branched off in that direction too. Oh wait, here's another. Let me touch. These? Maybe... C? 
See, it kind of looks like there's something on the ground. Maybe it's just a mushroom. Thought that was a big, creepy door. Looks like an old fort. Might be my way in. Look, the last time I had to deal with supernatural things and forts, it didn't, it didn't go so well. It was uh, someday you will return. A little bit creepy. A warning due to the recently unearthed remains renovation works have been suspended. Oh, okay. So they are dug into a burial ground. That's always a great sign. Something happened here. And don't get jump scared and like put your head through one of those wires. The you split okay? would come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. Wait, what's this flower? Can I no? doesn't seem to be anything this way, so I guess straight up it is. <clears throat> this is really cool though, how it works. Look at this. Dead. Like everything else in this place. Wait, focus on the spirit? Oh, okay. That's cool. Anyways. Let's see what we can do about that. Someone new. Is there... Oh, it's just an eerie drawing. Okay. Was that a drawing of me? Like, with the ball? The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. Thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid Jeez. for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely. Fragile. Waiting for someone to That's embrace a lot it. of people. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. Oh, do I like hold that soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this war. Is that it? Or just like... I just see... I feel weird that it's still there is all. Okay, hang on. Let me... Touch it again. I really like... Virgin. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. That hole is definitely creepier in the spirit world because it looks just like an endless pit versus like some trees that you could catch yourself on. Oh, but like she in looks. Any case, I figured I could use it. Super cool. Energy's in the spirit energy. world, though. Right. Okay. Press and hold. Oh, so nice. That worked. Good Weird. for you, Marianne. We're like actually These just magical. Of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, does that just mean it's like handy sometimes? Oh, I, I don't need to like flip it or anything. Okay. So there I was. Existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. I mean, that's not true to a point. It's like, 
you lived with Jack and like you loved him enough to miss him now that he's gone. I'd say that's a life worth living. That you did live, you know? Alright. Road less traveled. Oh, oh, it's a deer. What? what happened to you? A zombie deer, run. <laughs> I really don't think this game's about zombies. I don't know why I keep talking about zombies. Okay, but where did Thomas go? Or at least the man we're like presuming is Thomas. What's this? Nothing? Okay. Ooh, what's that? What the hell? Um, that's a monkey. Can I touch it? Touch anything? No? Hmm. Weird. Good thing this isn't Fallout or that'd be exploding on us. Oh yes, now we're watching her via drone. <laughs> Yo Thomas, you out there? You've made me walk pretty far away from my car. <gasps> What the hell are you, Neva? Um, the aura in that place. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. Yeah, this is definitely not giving me warm, fuzzy feelings. <laughs> but, uh, I I'm, well, I'm confident in her confidence. Oh, let's go answer that phone call. Oh, yes, hi. Found the echo. Now what do I do? Oh, okay. No, there's definitely something. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. Yes, it's only a matter of time. Even the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories, words, images, feelings left behind. And you still want to stay, so alright. <laughs> Hello? Anybody in there? Again. Locked. Obviously. There's got to be another way. You know, there would have been if you would have just shown up with a gun. Ooh, broken window up there, though. Can I, like, look at that? I think maybe I have to actually find something first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. The handle's missing. Maybe I could replace it with something. Okay, so we find a handle. Sadness huh? giggles. What? There's... Okay, let's follow these footprints. Wait, yeah, the, the footprints just go inside, because that's... Not super helpful, sadness. Yeah, it looks like the butterflies might lead us where we need to go, in a way. Because, like, that obviously took us to the door. So maybe it's just on the other side of that. 
Oh, which we can't go to. Okay. That an X marks the spot. A uh, new Soviet spacecraft. Handheld mobile phones. Yeah. The arrows led to treasure, but not the treasure we needed. Or maybe it was not the treasure we wanted, but definitely the treasure we needed. One, two, three. Wait, no. I don't. I don't know. That's all kind of kind of weird. Looks. Oh wait, yeah. You do hopscotch with one foot. Never mind. I was gonna say it's like she was going forward and backwards, all weird like. But that that would make sense. Since you'd be hopping on one foot. Maybe it's not the best idea that I play games so late. <laughs> Alright, so what? Hey, old timer. Oh, now, okay. What's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Alright, so following. Well, I mean, there's definitely Doubling something. Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. I was gonna I say so. Mind if I, uh, following I the footsteps. It did bring us somewhere nice. My love, summer is in full swing. The resort is stuffed to the gills. And you know what that means. More work for yours truly. But it's good work. Honest work. Mr. Rekovic said he'd like to keep me on. Can you believe it? I won't screw this up. Not this time. Promise. F. Alright, yeah, you me. Not much here. Wait, what am I supposed to do with a screwdriver? This could come in handy. For for what? I'm trying to Ow, Oh, I don't shit. like that. What the hell? Maybe don't beep at me, sir. No one here. Can I use my screwdriver to steal a handle though, please? Okay. So now I suppose we just have to find somewhere to use the handle on. I wonder if I was wrong and maybe the butterflies aren't just like clues, but they're where we need to use our, um, our little ability. Okay, but I have to go find somewhere to use a screwdriver on. Aha! Nice. <laughs> I mostly did that as just like a test. So began the great dumpster <laughs> heist of 1999. Yeah. I'm just glad that actually worked and I didn't. Wait, she's weak. <laughs> I didn't just have to find something to handle. Because while I was running around looking for uh, the screwdriver we found, I didn't find a I'm handle. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. You better be worth it. Look, I'm just saying, in all the post-apocalyptic games I've played, climbing on dumpsters is like most of how you get around. If you're already tired of it, you're not gonna survive. Maybe kick some of that out of the way so you don't hurt yourself. Oh, or just, you know, ride over it, alright. We've got a nice introduction to our character, to the game. We've got to explore and see the different worlds and how she splits. So I think we're going to go ahead and call this one here, guys. But I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. And if you're looking forward to more, you know what to do. But yeah, until then, thanks for watching. And I'll see y'all soon for the next episode.